We continue to celebrate Women's History Month, and here at News 6, we are profiling local women who are getting results and making a difference in our community. Yeah, and today we're getting to know an Apopka woman known for her detailed research in the 1920 Okoe Massacre. News 6's Ezie Castro introduces us to Francina Boykin. What is coming is a monument with the names of all the persons of color, the black people who lived in Okoye before 1920. You can say she's a walking history book. This is what the Orlando Weekly did. That was me walking through the cemetery. Born and raised in Apopka, Francina Boykin says her mission is to continue educating about the historical events that occurred right in our backyard. One of them, the Okoe Massacre of 1920, considered one of the darkest days in Central Florida history. Unveiling the research to the citizens of Okoe, it was a time where, okay, here are our facts, this is what happened. Boykin is a founding member of the Democracy Forum's Okoe Research Project, which was formed in the late 90s. The group spent years researching facts about the Okoe Massacre. Because there was about 30 plus people in the original group. And end up, I kept being involved in some type of way because yeah. my name was attached to it now. The effort even led them to information about July Perry, an Okoe resident who was tortured and lynched. Never been to Greenwood Cemetery in my life. And after we located July Perry, and they had a you know, the, they had the actual records. While Boykin is retired from her job with a law firm, she says it's Central Florida's history that keeps her going, whether that's helping students with projects or planning the next community event. With research comes purpose. I'm a believer now in sharing these stories because our young people needs to know, you know, so that they can understand who they are and where they're going in life. In Okoe, Ezzy Castro getting results, new sex. What a treasure Art. she is for our entire community and doing that sort of research and the fact that that's what she decided to do in her retirement. Yeah. I love that. And it's yeah. still not enough people know about what happened in Okoe. No, and we're so still learning important. more. Yeah. yeah. Well, as we continue to highlight stories during this Women's History Month, you can find our reporting right now on this page at clickorlando.com. Just click on the Women's History Month tab underneath the features section.